hello guys and welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to continue our lesson on polynomial functions in this video we are going to discuss a division of polynomials a polynomial function f of x can be divided by another polynomial j of x provided the degree of f of x is greater or equal to that of g of x now we perform division of polynomial functions by applying the long division method or better still you can use the method of factorization now for the purpose of this video we are going to use the method of long division so f of x which is called the numerator is called the dividend and then g of x which is the denominator is the divisor so using the method of long division we say that the dividend divided by the divisor is equal to the quotient plus remainder divided by the divisor now let's represent this information using the long division so we say dividend the numerator divided by the divisor which is the denominator is equal to now when performing the long division you want to bring the divisor outside and then we have the dividend inside the square root. So the dividend divided by the divisor gives a whole number value or an expression we call the quotient. So we have the quotient. Now the quotient times the divisor gives an expression. Now let's represent that expression with stars. So that the dividend minus that expression gives what we call the remainder. So we say that the dividend is equal to the quotient times the divisor. plus the remainder now having this information in mind we can now perform division of some polynomial functions let's solve some examples so here we are going to perform the following divisions we have three questions a b and c and we are going to solve these questions accordingly let's start from a so a we have 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 now using the method of long division we say that x minus 1 b on the outside and then we have 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 inside the square root so to begin with we are going to divide 2x square by x now 2x square divided by x we have 2x times x divided by x x cancels 1x so that we have 2x so 2x square divided by x is 2x so we write 2x now 2x times x is 2x square and then 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x now 2x square minus 2x square is 0 so we can choose not to write anything here and then negative 3x minus negative 2x is the same as negative 3x plus 2x which is negative x 
and then we drop plus one down next we are going to divide negative x by x so negative x divided by x is equal to negative one so we write a negative one now negative one times x is negative x and then negative one times negative one is plus one now let's subtract the two expressions so negative x minus negative x is negative x plus x which is zero and then one minus one is also zero so we say that 2x square minus 3x plus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 1. Now because the remainder is 0, it means that the remainder divided by the divisor is still 0. So there's no need of writing the remainder over the divisor. So 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 1. Now let's solve for b and c. So for b, we have the question 3x cubed minus 11x squared plus 10x minus 12 divided by x minus 3. So we have x minus 3 on the outside and then 3x cubed minus 11x squared plus 10x minus 12 inside the square root. Now 3x cubed divided by x is 3x squared. 3x cubed divided by x is 3x squared. So we write 3x squared. Now, 3x squared times x is 3x cubed. And then 3x squared times negative 3 is negative 9x squared. So, 3x cubed minus 3x cubed is 0. And then negative 11x squared minus negative 9x squared is the same as negative 11x squared plus 9x squared so negative 11 plus 9 is negative 2 so we have negative 2 x squared and then we drop 10x downwards now negative 2 x squared divided by x is negative 2 x so we write negative 2 x now negative 2 x times x is negative 2x squared and then negative 2x times negative 3 is 6x now let's subtract the two expressions so negative 2x squared minus negative 2x squared is 0 and then 10x minus 6x is 4x and then we have negative 12 so 4x divided by x is 4 so we have plus 4 and then 4 times x is 4x 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 so when you subtract the two expressions you have 0 as the remainder so it follows that 3x cubed minus 11x squared plus 10x minus 12 divided by x minus 3 is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. Now let's solve the last example or the last question. So for the first two questions, we had the remainder to be 0. However, for the next question, that is C, we are going to have the remainder not equal to 0. So for C, we have 2x cubed plus 8x squared minus 5x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 3x plus 1. 
So we have x squared minus 3x plus 1 outside and then 2x cubed plus 8x squared minus 5x minus 1 inside the square root. So we are going to divide 2x cubed by x squared. So 2x cubed divided by x squared is 2x. So we have 2x. Now 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times negative 3x is negative 6x squared. And then 2x times 1 is 2x. Now let's perform subtraction. Now 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0. 8x squared minus negative 6x squared is 8x squared plus 6x squared, which is 14x squared. Negative 5x minus 2x is negative 7x. And then we drop negative 1 down. Now 14x squared divided by x squared is 14. So we have 14 and then 14 times x squared is 14x squared. 14 times negative 3x is negative 42x. 14 times 1 is 14. Fourteen x square minus fourteen x square is zero. Negative seven x minus negative forty two x is negative seven x plus forty two. So negative seven plus forty two is thirty five. So we have thirty five x and then negative one minus fourteen is negative fifteen. So it follows that 2x cubed plus 8x squared minus 5x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to the quotient 2x plus 14 plus the remainder 35x minus 15 divided by the divisor x square minus 3x plus 1 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye